Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys this gameplay on Daryl Griffith, man. I don't really know much about this player. It looks like he's 6'4", shooting guard. He actually can go all the way up to a diamond with this evolution stuff. We'll check out his stats when he goes up to a diamond. But base, let's look at the badges. He comes with two Hall of Fames, Showtime and Fast Break Finisher, 14 Golds. He has Relentless Finisher, Lob City Finisher, Pogo Stick, Consistent Finisher, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, Acrobat, Giant Slayer, Difficult shots, downhill, quick first step, space creator, quick draw, that's huge, and volume shooter. And now let's check out the stats. He has an 85 three-pointer with the coach that's going to go up to a 90. That's very, very good. Now let's just check out his speed. 86 speed, that's not bad. Speed with ball is a little slow. But I mean, now let's see what, he go, what happens when we bring him into a diamond. So when you evolve him to a diamond, his three-pointer goes up to an 87. His mid-range goes up to an 89. Driving layup up to a 94. His lateral quickness goes up to an 85 from an 80. His defense gets a lot better. Um, his speed goes up 3 to 89, speed with ball up to 84, acceleration up to 89. This card might actually be really, really good. He gets gold catch and shoot, gold corner specialist, gold dead eye, flexible release, green machine, hot start, ice and veins, pump fake, maestro, and slippery awful. This card's going to be super good once you get him up to a diamond. That is a huge upgrade, man. Let's get straight into the gameplay. All right, where is he? There we go. Let's check out the dribbles first. Okay, his dribbles are a little slow. Oh, we get a little popping though on Carmelo. Okay, that's room. Okay, his release is kind of fast. I definitely, if he did not have gold quick draw, this card would not be good. There we go, that's a good step back, easy. Easy three form to start it off. He got room again, it's moving though. He still drills it, okay. Ooh, right past him, we'll drive in. Can he drive on Melo? Oh, just get swatted, but we still get the ball back. He left him open. That's green light. Too easy. Wide open. Come on. Ah, he missed that one. Oh, step back. We're open again. It's a bounce back, though. I'm, I don't know his release well, but I feel like once I learn it, dude, this card's going to be lights out. All right, past him. We're open. Pull it. Let's go, man. Ice cannot get this release down, but once I get it, damn, he's making these shots with me doing terrible releases. Go past him. Hop step. Got him jumping. All the way. All the way. Yam it. Let's go, baby. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Let's go. All right past him, right past him. Moving. Dang. Daryl, step back. Wide open three. Let's get it. Oh, they counted that as a two? Come on. Sets up these dribbles. Mmm. Mmm. That step back creates a lot of space because he has gold space creator in my team. That's nice. Oh, green light. That step back's going to be the killer in triple threat. Especially if you need someone for triple threat offline. I feel like this card with that step back especially when he's diamond he's gonna create you a lot of space and get you open threes for a triple threat offline this guy plays off ball so annoying i can't even get the ball to him for a gameplay dude's just playing off ball it's so annoying all right guys so my final thoughts on that card sorry about that last game we, the guy was literally off balling and double teaming i couldn't get much with him but i was still trying to but I mean, this card, he is okay right now as an Amethyst. When he goes up to a diamond, I feel like he's going to be really, really, really good. His shot's weird, but it's still fast once you learn it. It'll take some time to learn it. But once you get this card up to a diamond too, he has that gold space creator with that step back that creates a lot of space. He's going to be really cheese for triple threat offline. He's going to help you guys out a lot. Get those easy, easy, fast threes and triple threat offline. I think he'd be a good spot up shooter too because he gets gold catch and shoot because when he becomes a diamond for unlimited and everything. But yeah, guys, for the price he's going for, I'm, I'd wait a little bit, but that's also because he just came out. I'd wait a little bit to get him. But yeah, guys, that's my thoughts on this Daryl Griffith card. If you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.